Well, John, you're stuck here now. Now that we are officially quarantined here in LA, what we should have done is gone mattress shopping with Key and Peel before they closed all the stores down. Now that's a way to spend the apocalypse. But before we go into this, thank you to Sightlock for sponsoring this video. Guys, it's always important to use protection, especially when you're surfing the web. For completely legitimate reasons, of course. Yeah, not Greg's weird reasons. Between all of our passwords, credit card information, work emails, etc., a ton of important information travels through our phones and computers every single day. And that's some pretty important info. It would be a shame if it were to fall into the wrong hands. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting there. That's where SiteLock comes in handy. SiteLock offers cybersecurity solutions for all levels of online activity. And one of their very best features is the SiteLock VPN. Oh, VPN, like a virtual private network. Yes, Greg. Are you mad at me or something? Whether you're working from home, school, or an airport, SiteLock will generate a random server for all of your info to travel through unnoticeably, untraceably. It's the perfect way to mask your online activity from the prying eyes of criminals, advertisers, and governments alike. I hate you, Greg. What? SiteLock is easy to use, and one subscription covers up to five devices. So hit that link down in the description box to save yourself 40% on a SiteLock plan starting just three forty nine a month. What are you waiting for, people? Do it for to you to go away. What is your deal? You took some of my favorite talking points. Welcome to Pop the Mattress Liquidators. How can I help you today? I need to buy a new bed. Okay. Yeah. Good. Good. You came to the right place. I'd be more than happy to help with that. Uh, what size you need? A full, queen, king, queen, queen. Oh. We got a big sale. Yeah, so you know, it needs to be sturdy. All right. <laughs> Shit gets kind of crazy in my room. Oh, okay. <laughs> I got you, brother. <laughs> <laughs> These hairdos. <clears throat> well, this uh, Postopedic mattress we got right here that's extremely comfortable and uh, durable. Do you mind if I try it? No, not at all. Go ahead. I also mentioned there's a hundred percent money back guarantee on you. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got that good D. I got that good D. Yeah, yeah. No, it's too hard. <laughs> Do you have anything softer? Um, <laughs> of course. <laughs> this uh, is one of our um, natural latex mattresses. It's uh, on sale, too, today. At uh, twelve hundred dollars, can I try it? Sure. <laughs> Who got that good D? I got that good D. Uh, 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 uh. Who got that good D? I got that good D. Uh, uh. It seems a little pricey. Okay, no, it's a little pricey. I ain't gonna lie to you, but uh, no problem. We got other choices. Uh, <laughs> this is a great memory foam mattress. Right here, it's a little cheaper. And Can I try it out? Right, right, <laughs> yeah. And then, of, course, of course you want to try. <laughs> you know how it goes. Yeah. Oh, coming up on them late nights. Ay, ay, boom, 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 boom. Yes, yeah. see puppy, see puppy, see puppy. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Um, sex happens. <laughs> Take it. Okay, let me ring you up. Oh, poor guy. Jordan Peele, master of tension right there. <laughs> <laughs> My God, that was so awkward.
And Keegan Michael Key, the master of the hesitant, weirded out yeah. like vocal flutter. <laughs> yeah, I really want Keegan Michael Key to appear in a Jordan Peele movie. Just have Jordan Peele go all out with a horror comedy and bring Keegan Michael Key into the picture. How about Keegan Michael Key directs one and Jordan Peele stars in it? No, God, we got. We I got, don't know about that. We gotta get Key out of the box now. Peele's already out of the box doing multiple genres. We gotta get sure. Key in the mix. I love this sketch because this did not go at all how I thought it was gonna be. That's what they both. Do. They subvert the hell out of expectations because I thought, oh, Masher's shopping. This is probably going to be a very relatable scenario, making fun of people when they when they go mattress shopping. I know what it's like to go mattress shopping where you're hopping into all the beds. It's the only <laughs> times I've ever tried tempur -Pedics. I'm always like, I'm going to get one one day. I'm going to get one one day. <laughs> we'll spend four thousand yeah. dollars on this mattress one day. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought this was a really well written comedy because I'm always hearing it about like touch yourself at the mattress store or uh, doing it with someone at one of the beds. Like, I'm always hearing some dude crack that joke, right? This went down a completely awkward, introverted path I personally thought was great. And I love how usually the one who's, yeah, like, like you said, King of Michael Key, I've noticed in the sketches is that the truly socially awkward characters will probably go to Jordan Peele most yeah. of the time. And the ones reacting to the weirdness yeah. is usually Keegan-Michael Key. Usually when that dynamic is flipped, that usually means Keegan-Michael Key is probably like really bombastic and yeah, really loud, yeah. or they're completely matching each other's energy on that level. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. See, I didn't have Comedy Central. Hello, darkness, my so my only experience with Key and Peele has always been through YouTube. I think, who was it? Was it you? Someone introduced me to it. The first sketch I ever watched was, Put the Pussy Build on the, the Chain Wax! wax. You yeah. showed me that sketch. Oh, I, I showed mean, you that one? Or I, 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 I don't know who showed me that. It's just such a funny-ass sketch. Because, yeah, there's so many classics in their catalog. And, man, like, they revamped sketch comedy after a while. Because I remember, you know, we had, like, Mind of Mencia, and we had other shows, you know, a good chunk of time before. But when True. Key and Peele came back, I really think they smashed the door or open for right. sketch comedy again. And yeah, I mean, there's such good character actors and this did not go the way I expected it to. I didn't expect to feel bad for this guy at the end. <laughs> I want to know how this sketch was conceived because the idea of going to shop for a mattress that you need durability for because of other people's activities <laughs> is such a wacky concept that I, yeah, I just want to know how they arrived at that because it's such a specific problem to have. Well, it seems like it's twofold. You always get Jordan Peele who seems to always have a psychological angle. I'm not just saying that because of the horror tour that he is now. It's always been present in the sketches. There might be like multiple meanings to that ending bit, honestly. Yeah. One is what you said, just the joke of what if a guy is actually getting a mattress just so he can withstand his neighbors, their activities, right? <laughs> and then you got the other side of it where he's acting it out when he's in the mattress store so maybe there's this like lonely introverted side of him that is living vicariously yeah. through them. So he wanted to get the right mattress so he can experience that, this deviant. Yeah, that he is, you know? yeah, yeah. <laughs> or at least come across to somebody else in the world like he's the one who's given that good D. Live in those shoes for a hot second. But it's Jordan Peele. I bet when you peel open that banana, it is a good D. Oh, yeah, when you get the key to that joke, it's uh, there's a D inside. <laughs> It's a great video to put an ad on. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it is. It's appropriate. <laughs> It's okay, we haven't said anything that wasn't during the beginning part, so we're okay. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we didn't say anything you can't say on television. Yeah, we didn't say the the one name of that thing that apparently YouTube does not want you talking about, even though it's the most talked about thing in the world. Did you see Jordan Peele put out a, a revised get out poster that says stay in? <laughs> <laughs> it's got uh, Chris on the chair just like ah. Oh no, did not. Yeah, That's with funny. a mask and some pasta. That's hilarious. That's perfect. He's see still, he's still funny. Even now that they've Stopped comedy, they're still funny. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, what's your favorite Key and Peele sketch? What do you think is the most underrated sketch? Do you want to see Keegan Michael Key join some Jordan Peele horror movie? I know you do. Leave your thoughts down below. Make sure to subscribe to The Real Rejects. Click that notification bell to get notified whenever we got a YouTube video up. Big thanks again to Sightlock for sponsoring this video. And last but not least, let's end this with a <laughs> Adelia Chamberlain. I am skipping around in the rain. I am splishing and splashing and whiffing and lashing, wishing and laughing. <laughs> that this phone is as water resistant as they say. Oh, Adelia, I feel ya when you're talking about hypographia. I don't actually have that. I feel bad. I shouldn't compare myself, but you're prolific with your writing, man. And you've got such a great perspective, point of view, personality. I cannot wait till the day 
where you are slinging books, going on tour, man, dropping Drop fat, fat pages, pages. popping pros, 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 pushing word sentences. It's gonna be awesome, but for right now, I just wanna send you some love and thank you for being here with us and for singing, singing in, the in the rain with me, Adi Leah. I'll see ya on the next video. Much love, my dear. Be well.